Order. 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 We come now because the Right Honourable Winston Peters is not here for question number eight. Question number nine, the Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Minister of Civil Defence and asks, why did he reject the Independent Civil Defence Emergency Management Earthquake Review's recommendation, which was made in response to the finding that duplication of control was not only inefficient, but put people and property at risk? and that the same situation could arise in a number of different parts of New Zealand. The Hon. Chris Tremaine. Mr Order. Speaker, uh, just so that we, we're clear about the recommendation, uh, the recommendation was that civil defence emergency management groups, not territorial local authorities, should lead and control the response to emergencies. Uh, to specifically answer the uh, members' questions and the reasons for rejecting the recommendation, firstly, because most emergencies are actually short-term in this uh, country, uh, they are localised and best controlled at a local level. Secondly, CDM uh, group controllers already have legal power to control the response to local emergencies if necessary. And thirdly, the Ministry has already commenced a capability assessment framework to focus on improving leadership and government governance, not only in Christchurch but across the nation. The Honourable yeah. Leanne Dalzell. Did he factor into his decision the fact that the Wellington Regional Territorial Authorities have adopted precisely the model recommended by the independent review on the basis that, quote, disasters don't abide by territorial boundaries and that a shared approach to emergency management will enable our communities to be better prepared and will provide an ability to share resources to best effect? And if so, what does he know that they don't? The Honourable Chris Tremaine. Uh, thanks, Mr Speaker. That's an excellent question. In fact, the response by the Wellington Civil Defence Regional Group was, as part of the capability assessment framework, the recommendations that uh, came from that framework assessment as well. Christchurch are a part of that, and there were recommendations to uh, that point to uh, the Christchurch Group as well. The Honourable Leanne Delzell. When did his ministry first become aware of the situational and local political factors between Christchurch City and the Canterbury CDM Group, given that they had been through the same analysis that Wellington had been through prior to the 2010 earthquake, and what steps were taken to address these before people and property were put at risk? The Hon. Chris Tremaine. Yeah, thank you, Mr Speaker. I've uh, Preempting that particular question, uh, looked for specific dates. The capability review process was commenced in early 2010. That's uh, before the first earthquake. Uh, it was finished in August 2010, and we, I understand that it was given to the chair of uh, the group on or about the 3rd of September, a day or so before the earthquake. So uh, they were aware of it. Uh, they were given the opportunity, well, they didn't really have any opportunity to introduce the recommendations. Point of order, the Honourable Landells. Mr Speaker, my question was specifically, when did his ministry first become aware? It's not a question of the um, local group. The, it's, I think the minister did actually indicate that date. If I remember correctly, he said August, some date in August. Uh, question, or oh, supplementary question, uh, Louise Upson. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister of Civil Defence. What positive aspects of the response were highlighted by the Civil Defence Review? The Hon. Chris Tremaine. Uh, Mr Speaker, the report concludes that police, fire, ambulance, defence and civil defence, health services and lifelines maintained control, they rescued the injured and kept the public safe. The courageous efforts of emergency services and volunteer groups were commended by the reviewers. Mr Speaker, the earthquake was an unprecedented challenge, but overall the report concludes that the emergency response worked very well. Question number 10, Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Veterans Affairs. What is the